Check out this tweet. Apples are a versatile fruit, rich in dietary fiber and vitamin C, making them a nutritious addition to the diet. Hashtag apples, hashtag fruit, hashtag bananas. 29 views. It was posted yesterday. What a tweet. Too bad I didn't make it. It was fully generated by AI using a simple tool, and it did it at 6.48 a.m. I wasn't even up yet. Let me show you how to do it. This is the XBot. Input a list of tones, topics, and hashtags. Then let your personalized XBot randomly generate tweets to post on your behalf at the chosen interval. This is the newest tool available on the Autoblogger. If you've been following along in this series, we have the Autoblogger. This tool lets you generate thousands of SEO optimized articles around your chosen keywords and then have them automatically posted to your website while you sleep. We also have the SEO heist. And the SEO heist starts with you taking an RSS feed of your competitor, grabbing all of their most recent blog posts, and then rewriting them to post on your own website. Every time they post an article, you post one too around the same topic. The theory is that every time they get organic traffic, you get some of that traffic as well. And now we have the XBot. Auto post tweets to your X profile. I just showed you that tweet I posted this morning. It was completely generated and posted by AI. Got 29 views. That's a free 29 impressions on that tweet. That can turn into a profile visit, a follower, a subscriber, a purchase. And now I'm gonna let you easily create one for yourself using this tool. So to get started, head on over to autoblogger.app. I'm gonna drop a link in the description below. Enter your name, your email address, and a password. Then click sign up. When you first sign up, it's gonna drop you on the API keys page. If you only wanna use the XBot, we just need your OpenAI secret key. So click this hyperlink right here. It goes to platform.openai.com. We are gonna create a new secret key. I'm gonna call this XBot, click create secret key, copy this key, go back into my settings and paste it in. Now, before you click the start button to test the connection, go to your settings, billing, add a valid payment method, and then add credits to your account. OpenAI just switched every developer account over to the credit system. It used to be a monthly bill based on pay as you go, but now you need to top up your credit balance. So add some credits, $5 is good enough to get started and then head back over here and click the start button. We're gonna test GPT 3.5 Turbo, GPT 4, Dolly 2, and Dolly 3 in the background. We're only gonna use GPT 3.5 Turbo and GPT 4 Turbo for the XBot, but if you plan to use any of the other tools of the Autoblogger, you're gonna need the image generators like Dolly 2, Dolly 3, or Stable Diffusion 3. We generate images for each of the blog posts and articles as well. Okay, I got a check mark in the button. That means the setup was a success. Now I can head on over to the X tab. In order to hook up our X integration, we're gonna need to name it within the auto blogger and then get our client ID. So start by clicking this developer portal link. You may have to sign into your X account, but it's gonna bring you to the developer portal dashboard. And first we need to create a project. I'm gonna call this project XBot, then click next. For the use case, you can select any of these, but I'm gonna select making a bot. For the description, I'm also gonna say XBot, click next. That creates the project. Now we need to create an app. For the app name, I'm gonna use my X handle. Let's say West GPT, click next. And then we're gonna click app settings, scroll all the way down, click setup on authentication settings. You need to select read and write and direct message. Then for the type of app, select native app. It's a public client. For the callback URI and the website URL, you can go to settings. I've written it right here. It's https colon forward slash forward slash autoblogger.app slash settings. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it in twice. Then click save. Now it will expose our client ID so I can copy this go back into settings and paste it in here. For the name, let's just go at sign Wes GPT. Before I click start to authorize X, 
what we're doing is very simple. If you use your one free developer account, you get up to 1500 tweets per month. That is way more than you'll ever need or else it'll just be spam. And for the X bot, it's actually limited to max once per hour. So that's 24 tweets per day times 30. You're gonna be way under the limit and you're not gonna annoy or bug people either. So back in the auto blogger, I'm gonna click start. It brings me to this consent screen. I'm gonna click authorize app, takes us back to the auto blogger. And if everything was a success, it's gonna clear these two inputs and then add your X connection down here. If I go back to my profiles feed, I see this is a test tweet through the X API. So everything is set up perfectly, we're ready to go. In order to use the XBot or any of the other tools on the Autoblogger, you need to subscribe to the basic plan. So click on subscription and then subscribe. The Autoblogger is only $9 per month. You get access to all of the tools, unlimited usage, unlimited websites added or unlimited X accounts authorized. My plan is to make this the most affordable business automation platform on the web. All right, I've subscribed to a plan, it brings me back to the settings page. I can click this icon in the top left corner. Then I'm gonna click on XBot. It has auto selected that X connection. Now I get to select my text model. We have GPT-4 Turbo or GPT-3.5 Turbo. The tweets we're making are so small in the token usage. I don't really think there's a point in using GPT-3.5 Turbo, but I'm giving you the option just in case. Then I'm gonna choose my tweet language. I'm gonna choose English. For the tweet interval, I can choose random. The random toggle will generate a new tweet at a random interval. I have it set for anywhere between one and 24 hours. So it could post it every six hours, and then the next time four hours after that, then the next time one hour after that, and then maybe 24 hours later. This makes it feel more natural and organic. Or I can choose an exact posting interval, let's say every six hours, and it will generate a new tweet. Next, we have the tone picker. The tone picker is the style of tweet that you want to write in. For example, let's say witty. I'm gonna add professional. Let's add blunt, maybe curious. Let's go direct, formal, and then maybe optimistic. You can add up to 100 tones in this input box. Next, we're gonna add some topics. This is all gonna depend on the type of X account that you have or what type of business account do you have? Let's say I'm a practicing nutritionist. I'm gonna write nutrition. I'm gonna write diet. Let's get more specific here. Let's go vegan. How about the paleo diet? How about intermittent fasting? Maybe keto. How about ketosis? I'm gonna go nutrition schooling. How about fad diets? And I don't know if this is a thing, but getting your nutrition license. So we have 10 topics and seven tones. And what's going on in the back end is, it's gonna randomly generate a tone and then randomly generate a topic and then write a tweet using that combination. So it's very easy to see that we have seven times 10, 70 different combinations. And each of those tweets for each of those combinations is gonna be different each time as well. This is something that you can set and forget and the XBot is gonna create content for you on autopilot. You can use it on your personal profile or your business profile, and you're gonna get impressions from these tweets that's gonna help you grow your online presence. Next, I give you the option to include three hashtags. This will help with exposure as well. I'm gonna write hashtag nutrition, hashtag diet, and then hashtag foodie you can do your own research to see which hashtags are popular in your niche and then use them in this input box here. So it looks like I'm all ready to go. I can click start XBot. It says the XBot has been scheduled. Please check your X feed to see the results. I'm gonna click okay. It's gonna refresh the page, clear all the inputs. Now I can go over to workflows. I can see that I currently have an XBot running. The interval is posting every six hours. I can cancel it from this page. I can click on the info button, and then at any point I can add new tones, add new topics, take them away, change up the hashtags, change the post interval, change it to random if I want, and then click save on the XBot. 
but keeping it as is, I can go check my X feed to see the results. And here we go, 49 seconds ago. I have a funny feeling I know what topic it chose. Fad diets often promise rapid weight loss and other health benefits without scientific consensus, potentially leading to unsustainable results and nutritional deficiencies. Then we have our three hashtags at the bottom. If you want to try the new XBot for yourself, head on over to autoblogger.app. A link is going to be in the description below. And if you want to learn how to build your own AI apps, just like the XBot, check out my online course. I'll add that link in the description as well. When you land on this page, you can watch the promotional video, see what this course is about. You can also click view the syllabus and see all the modules and lessons that we have and the ones that are coming in the future. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.